So I thought I'd bring out the charts again. It's been a while since I did my last charts video comparing silver to the prices of different items. Silver's gotten crushed since I made that video. Um, you want to buy silver when it's undervalued compared to most items. And right now I think silver is undervalued compared to most items historically. Uh, so I figured I'd pull out the charts. And this is the silver to gold ratio. If you look, the average is 64 ounces of silver to equal one ounce of gold since 1978. Today it takes 75.2 ounces of silver to buy one ounce of gold. That means today it takes 17.5% more than historically average to purchase that one ounce of gold. If you look at where we are, we're in the buy silver category. We're below the average there, so um, it'll be a good time to buy silver. But look at where we have been. We've been all the way down here to a 94 ounces of silver to equal one ounce of gold. And if you look at the time when that silver was undervalued, that's 1986 until 1996. So that's a 10 year period where silver was undervalued compared to gold. If silver were to become undervalued to this extent, again, I think we'd see about $11.65 an ounce and I believe that's possible. I really think that $11, $12, I think that's pretty much gonna be the bottom. I can't see silver going very much below that but it could you know I'm not a financial advisor I don't have the crystal ball but the reason why I'm posting this video is because I'm still getting a lot of flack on my video silver bullion belly flop when I was talking about right now is not the best time to buy silver I posted that video at 1775 we're at 1456 so we've gone down over three dollars an ounce since I posted that video and a lot of people have been messaging me and saying are you crazy isn't right now a good time to buy silver when it's cheap in the sh my short answer would be no but my long answer would be yes if you choose your battles wisely I don't think right now is the best time to be buying generic bullion but if you're picking up the right semi numismatic items uh, possibly for a flip I think you could do very well in these times where silver is undervalued I also think that a lot of dealers aren't gonna let their silver fly for less than what they paid and I think a lot of those dealers are going to uh, disappear basically because it's a buyers market right now um, when silver's undervalued it's a buyers market and when silver's overvalued it's a sellers market so you kinda have to uh, choose your battles wisely if you buy you know generic bullion and generic bullion only if silver goes down to twelve dollars you know that's gonna hurt if it goes down to eleven bucks that's gonna hurt it's gonna add more hurt to you Whereas if you bought like some sort of semi-numismatic coin that has a track record of going up year after year, you could increase your ounces even in this time of undervaluation. So I'm going to compare to uh, Dow Jones as well. And I know a lot of silver people don't like stocks. Uh, I'm not a big stock guy. I, I've never owned a stock actually, but I like to... Uh, watch this because if silver becomes or if silver goes up into this overvalued category that might be a time where uh, you could dump a little bit of metals and throw a few bucks onto the stock market roulette wheel um, but as you can see here versus the Dow Jones we're we're undervalued uh, in silver on average, it took 829 ounces of silver to purchase one share of Dow Jones. Today, it takes t almost 1,200 ounces or 44.4% more ounces of silver to purchase one share of Dow Jones. All right, see we're undervalued here, but look where we have been, all right? 
And uh, if silver were to become undervalued to that extent again, we're looking at $8.11 an ounce silver. I really don't think it's going to go that low. But anything's possible, I guess. But if you look at the time period that silver was undervalued, uh, it's from 1994 to about 2008. So that's a 14 year period where silver was undervalued compared to the stock market. So don't just panic on every single little dip. I think we might, it might be a long summer for silver is what I'm saying. Uh, we'll look at silver versus gas. And if you look at this orange line, that's the average. Um, this is how many ounce or how many gallons of gas you can purchase with one ounce of silver. The purchasing power of silver is low right now. Uh, it's about 4.8% less than historically average. So, um, you know, that's a good sign for silver. But like I said, look where we are and look where we have been. And um, that went from 1988 to 2008. So that was a 20-year period where silver was undervalued compared to gas. All right, now we're going to go silver versus postage. I said it before. I, I'm going to say it again. I think that postage stamps are one of the cheapest things that you can purchase right now. I think if you purchase uh, the forever stamps, I could see some postage rate hikes in our near future. And I think they're going to be 6 to $0.10 cents for the next postage rate hike. So that's just my assumption. I, I think that stamps are historically uh have been kept pretty low but if you look at the green line that's the average um we're 5.47 percent below historical average purchasing power versus postage but if you look at the time that silver was undervalued that went from 1984 to 2006 so that's 22 years where silver was undervalued compared to postage. Uh, like I said, right now you want to choose your battles wisely. If silver were to become devalued as much as this, again, we're looking at $7.35 an ounce. I think it's going to go down possibly 12 I just I don't see it going a whole lot lower than that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And this video hopefully explains why I am bearish on generic bullion.